Western Oklahoma Panhandle heading for New Mexico and not far away there were about eight tornadoes in the area yesterday and some really beautiful video that came out of it I've seen by a variety of people so we'll see what happens today This is only my second chase trip to New Mexico. But I'm enjoying the open road. Having driven all day from central Kansas, I don't make it to northeast New Mexico till evening. So I head south of Clayton as fast as I can to get to some good areas with good light as the storm strengthens. Things are developing and developing fast. I'm heading south out of Clayton, trying to get into a good area. The day before, there were eight tornadoes reported in the area. And I'm just waiting to see what will happen on this evening. I love this part of the chase as I get closer and closer. This time of the afternoon and evening, everything gets more vibrant as the sun gets lower. finally reach Roy, New Mexico and get another 10 to 20 miles further south. As the skies come alive, I'm still trying to get closer and find a place to pull over and start filming. I stop at one place to catch the towering thunderheads as they start to grow quickly in some beautiful light before heading to a final spot for the evening. So the race is back on for the next few minutes. And there aren't many other people on this highway. Most everybody had made it further south. I 
I see a road off the highway and I make my move. And it proved to be a good choice. I set up cameras as quick as possible and start filming. The sun slowly gets lower, the colors more intense. The whole sky is spinning. The storm blends brilliantly with the sunset. There is an ominous yet beautiful wall cloud spinning straight ahead of me. The storms of this night produced massive amounts of rain, and I was told Tucumcari, just upstream, received eight inches. So I will have further to report in my next video. So stay tuned, and thank you for watching. Until next time.